Hi everyone, I'm Secondary Technology Integration Specialist Michael Walker and today I'm going to be talking about preparing your Moodle courses for semester two. For those of you who are teaching year-long courses, the only thing you may need to do is move students in the group section under administration from one group to the next if there's been any schedule changes. For those of you teaching semester classes, some of you at the high school already have a semester two course and you can simply uh, direct students to that course at the start of the semester using the same types of enrollment keys that you did before. Remember you can go to administration and groups to do that. If you are brand new to Moodle and you're teaching a semester class and you need to duplicate the class while keeping your student data from semester one, I'm going to go through the process to do that here today. The first thing you're going to look at is backing up your course. So here I have a dummy class set up and you'll notice that semester one is labeled here so that I kind of keep track of that. If you want to, you can go under administration and settings and rename your course right here. Please keep the naming convention with the grade level and the subject matter and then your name on the back. I'm just using this for test purposes only. Um, but you can add S1 to it, for example, if you're a Project Lead the Way teacher and this is a new class, you might want to put an S1 there. Um, and then once you've got that all set up, um, you can also, after the semester ends, you can come down here and make the course unavailable to students. And that might be something for you uh, so that you still have access to the students and the student data, but the, the students can't go in and update things past the uh, Friday's end date of the semester. So once you've got that set up, you can come down here and save your changes. Once you've done that, it's time to back up your course. And for right now, we're going to back up everything, both the course information and student data. So you see on the left-hand side, you'll have your course information, your resources that you've added, and on the right-hand side is all the student data. For our backup purposes, we're going to back everything up so that it, for sure we've got everything. So I'm going to keep the course users, all of that. And this will serve in case anything were to happen, you'd have access to all the information that was there. Normally this is done automatically, but we're going to do an extra one in this particular case. So we're going to click continue here. It comes to a next screen and says, has information here. We're going to say continue. And it's going to go ahead and start backing up the information. This will take a little bit longer for you because my class doesn't have a lot in it. So I'll click continue here and now the course is backed up and you see that it's backed up and it shows the date and time that it happened and how big the file is. So this right here is the backup. So now we're ready to create a copy of your course for semester two. Remember this is just for first time users. If you already have a semester two version of your course, use that and use the import feature. To so since we are already in the backup section here, you see one of your action items is restore. So I'm going to select restore and yes I want to continue. Notice that later in the process I'll have the choice of adding this as a backup to an existing course or complete, create a completely new course which is what I'm doing. So I'll say yes and it's going to go through a couple screens where I have to say continue a few times and when I get to this screen now I'm saying I'm restoring this as a new course. The category should be the school that you are in. If you're at Valley View you're going to use Valley View, high school, high school, etc. The short name of the course I'm going to change now and call this semester 2. The long name, the full name, I'm also going to change to semester 2. The course start date I'm going to move to January 30th. Now I realize that that might not be the date that your course is actually starting. I'll change this to 2012. But we want it to start on a Monday, especially if you are using the uh, day by day or the week feature as opposed to the uh, unit feature in the course. Here you're going to say none of the users because you don't want any user data now. The students are brand new for second semester. 
the users for the course we're going to say none the groups will say yes and we'll keep that because then the enrollment keys stay the same user files will say no course files yes and site files yes and we'll say continue select restore this course now and it's going to pull the data from the first semester course that we just backed up and create a brand new course as a semester two class once the course is restored you'll see all of these files pulling in and you'll come back here and click continue and now you'll land in your semester two course and here it is and you'll be able to see that the group settings the groups that you've created you can click on groups and you'll see that those are still there along with the same enrollment keys that you'll give to your students to enter that course but now rather than semester one which I can show you where that is um, we're in semester two so that's how you set your course up again if you have any questions or run into any problems please let me know thanks